Hey guys, Arcane here from the future with a little conundrum. See, Doki Doki Literature Club is really sensitive to spoilers, and saying too much may ruin a pretty good piece of interactive fiction for folks who haven't played or seen it yet. The conundrum is that it also dips into narrative territory that requires a trigger warning, and even saying that may raise an eyebrow if you haven't played slash seen it. And a trigger warning that doesn't tell you what to expect is kind of like an ad for a movie that says, This summer, watch a guy do some stuff with another guy. Waggles eyebrows? You don't know. So here's a compromise. I'm going to show Doki Doki's detailed trigger warning from their own website, but I'm also going to make obnoxious noises. Join along, it's fun. Until it's off the screen. There's also a timestamp in the description below that you can click to skip right to the show. Spoiler warning in three, two, one. La 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 la, I can't hear you. Can't hear you. I can't hear what you're saying to me. Nope, nope, nope. I'm not looking at the screen. Nothing is seen there. Nope, nope, nope. nope. There's nothing to see. I'm looking the other way. I'm looking over here at this wall. This wall, yep. There's no spoiler warnings over here on this wall, which is why I'm looking there. Do, do, do. Yep. I grab Sayori by the shoulders. What on earth are you saying? <laughs> so anime. <laughs> it's almost time for Natsuki to meet me at my house. At the very least, do you want to come along and help out? To my surprise, Sayori shakes her head. I'm sorry. Fucking thick. I don't know if that would be very good for me today. Jeez, I'll be here all night if you do it like that. Here, look. You really need to beat the crap out of it. Welcome to two brothers awkwardly play opposite roles of a budding romance. <laughs> it hurts so much. Everything hurts so much. Ah! You should take a little responsibility for her arc. I mean, especially after your exchange with her yesterday. You kind of left her hanging this morning, you know? I can never take it back. Never. Actually, I'm starting a new one! A literature club! She picks me up over her head and carries me back to the classroom, Super Mario Brothers Stewie style. And thus, today marks the day I sold my soul to Monica and her irresistible That's smile. That's the problem. I we keep selling our soul. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> The eyes are like, I'm back, and I brought a guest with me. Eh? All words escape me in this situation. This club is full of incredibly cute girls. So I ran into Ark in a classroom, and he decided to come check out the club. Isn't that great? Yuri returns to the table carrying a tea set. She carefully places a teacup in front of each of us before setting down the teapot in the middle. You keep a whole tea set in this classroom? Don't worry, the teachers gave us permission. That wasn't my first concern. Well, tea and reading might not be a pastime for me, but I at least enjoy tea. I don't know why, but deep somewhere in my soul, I feel the desperate need to make sure that all of these girls are happy all of the time. <laughs> so, Ark, what kinds of things do you like to read? Uh, blog posts, uh, political news articles. I feel like shit all the time. <laughs> uh, manga. Look, I'm really dumb. I mutter quietly to myself, half joking. Natsuki's head suddenly perks up. I hear a distinct <laughs> snap from her neck. Her head rolls across the floor. Bad end. <laughs> it looks like she wants to say something, but she keeps quiet. N not much of a reader, I guess. I understand the letter B. <laughs> Let her be, if the sun comes up tomorrow. Motherfucker, get boxed. <laughs> I'm gonna start bringing an empty box into this room so I can hit you with it. Well, that can change. I can change, please. Shut up, that song is great. Hootie and the Blowfish is awesome. What am I saying? That can't change. I'll be an idiot forever. <laughs> My favorites are usually novels that build deep and complex fantasy worlds. My head slams into the desk. I am unconscious. <laughs> I wake up hours later. There's nobody in this room with me. I have no clothes. And I've had <laughs> dumbass tattooed in the back of my ch in the back of my back. The back of your back? 
I've been slid open and a tattoo has been placed on the other side of my spine. It, it's visible from the other side in reverse. <laughs> and <laughs> isn't it amazing how a writer can so deliberately take advantage of your own lack of imagination to completely throw you for a loop? Anyway, I've been reading a lot of horror lately. Horror. Uh, horror. Horror. Yeah, oh, I read a horror book once. I am a different character now. Oh. <laughs> I desperately grasp something I can relate to at the minimal level. My weenie. At this rate, Yuri might as well be having a conversation with a rock. Wait a second. I am a rock. And you're a bag of sugar. <laughs> I am an island. <laughs> Surreal horror is often very successful at changing the way you look at the world, if only for a brief moment. Uh, I hate horror. Oh, why is that? Well, I just... Natsuki's eyes dart over to me for a split second. Oh, my <laughs> my body is filled with darts. Aye! Never mind. Longtail says, Did you hear about the literature club that got poisoned? They had to work fast to give them an anecdote. <sighs> we all sit in silence for a moment. <laughs> I fart. Hey, I just got an idea. <laughs> I just got. <laughs> no, no, I think it went more like. Hey, I just got an idea. Hey, I just. Oh God, my no, pants. please. <laughs> I can't leave when she's talking about how my fridges are filled and people will know. They've got like T minus ten know. seconds to get out of they here. They will know. <laughs> you go home, you write a poem, and all it says is they knew, they knew, they knew, they knew. <laughs> End. How am I supposed to make clear-headed decision when it's like this? I would feel terrible for letting everyone down in this situation, and besides, the club itself seems pretty relaxed. So if writing poems is the price I need to pay in order to spend every day with these beautiful girls, I'll join the literature club! One by one, the girls' eyes light up. They begin to shoot lasers. <laughs> everyone remember tonight's assignment. Write a poem to bring to the next meeting so I can all share. I think I'm getting what the- I think I'm getting what this game is putting down. Uh, you don't matter, nothing you do matters, if you were to disappear, nothing would change, the world would go on exactly as it was. <laughs> the, I, I think it's going to go from the direction of, you are so disappointing a love interest that one by one girls are er <laughs> erased from reality <laughs> due to your incompetence. <laughs> This could also be true. <laughs> they add DLC to this game just to add new girls for you to, <laughs> to erase. <laughs> <laughs> Yay, I get another chance! Vomp, vomp, vomp. No! <laughs> Poor Pedro. Aw, oh, man, we should have named him Pedro. <laughs> Mouse? Oh. Dead climax. It was so delicious, I jizzed. Oh, okay. <laughs> I've learned a thing. <laughs> so this poem is just full of cute shit, and then suddenly, and then I came. <laughs> and then there was a kitty. Yay! I became a furry. Bunny! Bunny! <laughs> Bunny. <laughs> this, this might be a little strange for me, but at least I keep my word. Get it? Literature! <laughs> Suddenly, I feel like I feel a sharp stabbing in my stomach. I don't understand why. <laughs> I wonder if that would- Oh! I saw that. Therefore, keep here. Go for it, hey. Is this supposed to change key? Oh. I don't think so. <laughs> I hope this isn't too overwhelming of a commitment for you. The room- is the room crooked? I think the room is crooked. It does feel a bit off-kilter now. Making you dive headfirst into literature when you're not accustomed to it. Oh, oh come on, like he deserves any... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's add more horror. You already had to be dragged here by Monica. I don't know if you plan to just come here and hang out or what. But if you don't take it seriously, then you won't see the end of it. Uh, um, Monica, the... Dude, I, no, it's not that, Yuri. I want to try to be a part of the... I'm a professional! I am applying for VA work for a good reason! Is it just me or she tilted too? Like, along with the room? Maybe. It's hard to tell. Yuri reaches into her bag and pulls out a book. 
I didn't want you to feel left out, so I picked out a book that I thought you might enjoy. Green eggs and ham. We've done this joke already. <laughs> hey, if they can loop around and do the same shit over again, so can we. Well, you can read it at your own pace. I know that you're a little slow. I look forward to hearing what you think. Please step back. Thank you. Oh, okay. <laughs> you looking for something in there? <laughs> Fucking Monikam! She never puts my stuff back in the right spot. Well, what's the point in keeping your collection organized if someone else is just gonna mess it up? Parfait girls? Get it? It's a play on words because they like yogurt and parfait is French for perfect. If you're gonna judge, you can do it through the glass on that door. <laughs> See, when she first said that, I thought she meant glass. I thought she was saying glass in the window, and I thought she was just gonna throw me out. <laughs> you can do it through the glass on that. <laughs> you can do it through the glass. Wow, that's uncalled for, long tail. Yes. Gee, seriously. <laughs> I didn't even say anything. It was the tone of your voice. But I'll tell you one thing, Ark. Don't <laughs> judge a book. I didn't. Oh, I didn't exactly expect to be sitting this close to her either. True story, while we're talking about sitting that close to people, there was one time when I was in junior high. I have really, really bad allergies. Like, I'm allergic to everything. So when it, you know, when you have a day of, like, really high pollen, I'm just a complete mess. So there was one day in junior high when I went out for recess, and it was just that. Like, I was just miserable and sniffly, and my eyes were itchy and watery. So, um... And I didn't really have anything to do that I wanted to do, so I just kind of sat down with a book against the wall of the classroom, and I'm sitting there rubbing my eyes, and I'm, you know, I'm all teary and stuff, and, like, three girls, like, some of the prettiest girls in the classroom, just came up and sat down next to me and started comforting me. <laughs> and... Because I was in junior high, I had no desire to tell them that anything was other than what they thought it was. <laughs> I was just like, yay! <laughs> so you basically were, you are in fact, an anime protagonist. <laughs> I, I think everybody's an anime protagonist until they turn 25. Suddenly she's five again. Are you sure this isn't boring for you? No, it's only because we're up close, so her face is doing that thing when you do a wide, wide angle lens. Shows her head's just m massive in the shot because she's so close. Yeah. You don't? Huh? What? Eh. What? You say something? That shit was. The, her eyes were animated like Team Four Star style. They just think manga is for kids. That's because she's so smart. Clearly not. She reads manga. Okay, hold on. Y'all need to pick a side. <laughs> no sides. Everybody gets railed on equally. Eh? You still haven't grown out of that yet? Makes you want to punch them in the face. Seriously, this is some. This isn't some alternate reality where in Japan people don't read manga. <laughs> Ugh, I know those kinds of people. No, you don't. None of you know those kinds of people. <laughs> I'm already kind of a loser. So why don't you kill me? I mean, I feel like I can't even keep it in my own room. My dad would beat the shit out of me if he found this. Uh. At least it's safe here in the bet club room. Except Monica's kind of a jerk about it. Ugh, I just can't win, can I? Time passes. Natsuki is strangely quiet now. I glance over at her. She's just a skull. It looks like she started to fall asleep. Oh, that's different. Hey, Natsuki. Uh, yeah? Suddenly Natsuki collapses straight into me. Hey! Uh, um, uh, nope, nope. Let's start with Monica. Because she's the one who always tells us, Hey, you, you're, this person would like your poem. By the way, since you're new and everything, if you ever have any suggestions for the club, like new activities or things we can do better, I'm always listening. Uh, rope ban. What? A rope ban. That's a suggestion. Oh, yeah, did no ropes. <laughs> I hand Monica my poem. Mm-hmm. I like it, Ark. Really? No. <laughs> it's a lot cuter than I expected. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, jeez, Scoob. Oh, jeez. It kind of makes me think of something Natsuki would write. And she's a good writer, too. So take that as a compliment. <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> oh, I'm becoming Monica. I am becoming. The assimilation has begun. If you're interested in Natsuki, then always keep a snack on you. She'll cling to you like a puppy. What, yeah. This Just is new. Handing out free advice of that nature. I'm becoming more and more afraid of you, Monica. <laughs> This is just a guess, but I think she's so small because her malnutrition is interfering with her adolescent growth. The fuck? You sound pretty confident for someone who claims to not be very good. Well, that's because I have to sound confident. That doesn't mean I always feel that way, you know? Hole and wall. Swallowing my fears, I brandish my pen. This poem is different. <laughs> it's okay! That, yeah, that kind of style has really gotten really... Bleh. Can I try again? No. By the way, I learned, yeah. I learned yeah. earlier today that the ink in a normal ballpoint pen, there's only like a few milliliters of it, but it is enough to draw two and a half kilometers of line. Huh. Natsuki rereads my poem. Never mind, I don't feel like giving you my opinion. Well, I would be more comfortable sharing my poem if yours was really bad. You're supposed to show me some dumb poem and make me go, ha, huh, well it's not that great, but let me show you what real literature looks like. And you went and ruined it. I hope you're happy. Yes, immensely. Ha <laughs> ha, I win. <laughs> I won literature. Get wrecked. <laughs> so in other words, you're saying you liked it? <laughs> Natsuki's retort gets caught in her throat. She's choking. She dies. Another and... character has died of asphyxiation. God damn it. But in any case, you still need to show me yours, right? I'll sh I show you mine, you show me yours. That's how this works. And then we... T Take it into an uncomfortable direction, like always. And I lick her fingers. Eagles can fly, monkeys can climb, crickets can leap, horses can reek. Reek? Horses can reek. <laughs> Fuck you, horses. Owls can seek. I like when it's easy to read, but it hits you hard. Like in this poem. Seeing everyone around you do great things can be really disheartening. So I decided to write about it. Yuri stares at the poem. A minute passes, more than enough time for her to finish reading. Um. Oh! Sorry, I forgot to start speaking. Yuri isn't all there. <laughs> I couldn't help but notice there's been several minutes and we really haven't gotten anywhere. It might take Yuri a while to get used to new people. Ghosts under the light. The tendrils of my hair illuminate beneath the amber glow, bathing. It must be this one. I guess that's everyone. I glance around the room. It was a little more stressful than I anticipated. It's as if everyone is judging me for my mediocre writing abilities. Well, yeah, all you did was put rant... They gingerly exchange sheets of paper, sharing their respective poems. As they read in tandem, I watch each of their expressions change. Oh no! I don't have Sayori to break up this fight. What's with this language? <laughs> it's Esperanto, you uneducated bitch. <laughs> Natsuki suddenly stands up. No. Oh, I didn't realize you were so fast in trying to impress our new member, Yuri. Um, Morning. excuse me. I'm as no member as any of you. Are you that full of yourself? I... no. If I was full of myself, I would deliberately go out of my way to make everything I do overly cutesy. Well, you know what? I wasn't the one whose boobs magically grew a size bigger as soon as Ark started showing up. N Natsuki! Um, Natsuki, that's a little... This, this doesn't, doesn't involve you. you. Taking out your own insecurities on others like that, you really act as young as you look, Natsuki. Me? Look who's talking, you wanna be edgy bitch. If you wanna prove some anything, then stop harassing others with your sickening attitude. You think you can counterbalance your toxic personality just by dressing and acting cute? The only thing cute about you is how hard you try. Well, be careful, you might cut yourself on that edge, Yuri. Oh my bad, you already do, don't you? D did you just accuse me of cutting myself? What the fuck is wrong with your head? Ark! Sh she's just trying to make me look bad. That's not true. She started it. Uh, whoa, wow, what the fuck? Uh, Natsuki. <laughs> whoa. Yes, hello. <laughs> I, I might have if I'd been able to, like, know it was coming. Um. Hey, Ark. Why don't we step outside for a little bit? Okay? Sorry about that. They really shouldn't have tried to get you involved. It's probably better for us to stay out of this. We'll go back inside once they're done yelling. 
<laughs> Some president I am, right? Suddenly Natsuki runs out of the classroom. Ooh, oh dear. She quickly runs away. Yuri's rocking back and forth in her desk with her palms on her forehead. Yuri? I didn't mean it. There's something wrong with me today. It's fine, Yuri. We know you didn't mean it. Besides, I'm sure Natsuki will forget all about it by tomorrow. Completely. Y you can go first, Monica. I'd like to stay a little bit longer. I'm the president, so I should be the last one out. I'll wait for you to be done. Well, I'm vice president, so please let me take that responsibility today. It kind of sounds like you don't want me around for something, Yuri. It's not that. It's not that. I just... I didn't get much of a chance to discuss my book with Ark. It would just be embarrassing with you listening. <sighs> I guess I don't really have a choice, do I? I'm sorry for causing trouble, but... In this one, Ark tries desperately to impress Natsuki. <laughs> uh, fucking, uh, pink, uh, bunnies, uh, uh, skirts, rainbow skirts, climax. <laughs> <laughs> Entering the club room, the usual scene greets me. The usual screen? Uh, hi, Yuri. I'm not sure if it's me or if it's Yuri's expression, but the weight of yesterday's quarrel still hangs in the air a little. Um... Yuri glances over her shoulder, looking around the room. Natsuki is reading a manga at a desk. And surprisingly, Monica isn't here yet. Suddenly, Yuri takes my arm and pulls me to the corner of the room. About yesterday... She mounts me like a stallion. Sorry, what am I saying right now? I just... Hey, have you guys seen Monica? Ah! No, I haven't. Yuri's clearly taken aback by how calmly Natsuki is addressing her. No, I haven't. Jeez, this isn't like her at all. She did forget completely. Whatever's on your mind, I'm sure it was nothing. Yeah. I don't even remember anything bad happening. You're the kind of person who worries too much about the little things, aren't you? But... but... I'll accept your apology anyway if it helps you feel better about it. Besides, it's kind of nice to hear since I was always afraid you secretly hated me or something like that. <laughs> no, not at all. Suddenly the door swings open! Sorry, I'm super sorry. Super sorry, away! <laughs> oh, super they're... Canada man. <laughs> oh. Well, I am working on writing a song, but it's not quite done yet. I won't let you down, Ark. Monica smiles sweetly. Uh, I didn't mean any pressure or anything like that. Did she just fucking Princess Peach boogie blast them out of the scene? <laughs> Game. <laughs> <laughs> so I didn't miss anything, did I? Not... not really. I chose not to bring up anything that the three of us talked about. Besides, Natsuki has already run off into the closet. Now I'm in a closet, too. Since your compliments put me in a good mood, I was wondering if you would like to spend some time together to gay. To gay? <laughs> After we finished reading yesterday, she... She's fine! She's reading over there, see? Don't think about her so much. She's used to being ignored. Come on, we're going over there. <laughs> What's the story about anyway? Basically, it's about this religious camp that was turned into that was turned into a human experiment prison, and the people trapped there have this trait that turns them into killing machines that lust for blood. But the facility gets even worse and they start selectively breeding people by cutting off their limbs and affixing them to oh that might be a little bit of a spoiler. But anyway, I I'm really into it. The book, I mean. Not the thing about the limbs. That's kind of... It's kind of dark, isn't it? You made it sound like it was going to be a nice story, so that dark turn came out of nowhere. Did it? <laughs> it's just that this kind of story, the kind that challenges you to look at life from a strange new perspective, when horrible things happen not just because someone wants to be evil, but because the world is full of horrible people, and we're all worthless anyway. And so I'm, then I'm rambling, aren't I? Not again. I'm sorry. Hey, don't apologize. I like it when your words are black. <laughs> black is the darkest night from which the tendrils of fog shut off 
<laughs> come out to devour us all. Well, just tell me if I end up distracting you or anything. Alright. This arc is rapidly changing from typical anime protagonist to dude who gives no fucks. It looks like she's reading from my book instead. Sorry! Ooh. Yuri, you really- Yuri! I'm not even catching a glimpse of what those say. Oh, I know what- yeah, it's like, I'm getting like a word or two here or there. I know who he's becoming. See if you can hear it in the way I've been reading the dialogue. Yuri, you really apologize a lot, don't you? He's becoming Goku. <laughs> <laughs> I- I do? Are you ready? Eh? D turn the page. Uh, uh, dad, sorry. Does anybody else in chat become extremely hyper-conscious of the fact that they're touching somebody? Like, if you're sitting like, like, oh yeah, I'm gonna go with this person on a bus ride, and then you sit there and, like, your leg is touching theirs, and there's not really anything you can do about it, and you're like, my leg is touching this person's leg! <laughs> hey, Yuri, this might be a silly thought, but have you ever wondered what pie would taste like if you dipped it in the sewer first? Yuri stands up and practically rushes out of the classroom. What on earth was that about? Ark? Did something happen just now? Eh? I have no idea. Yuri was acting a little strange, I guess. So you don't know anything? Sorry, can't say I do. Are you worried about her? Oh, no, not really. I was just making sure that you didn't do anything to her. Uh, no, nothing. <laughs> Don't worry, I believe you, silly. Monica. I give my poem to Monica. Alright! Great job, Ark! I was going, ooh, in my head while reading it. Sometimes I feel like Yuri's mind is just totally detached from reality. I don't mean that like it's a bad thing, though, but sometimes I get the impression that she's just totally given up on people. She spends so much time in her own head that it's probably a much more interesting place for her. But that's why she gets so happy when you treat her with a lot of kindness. I don't think she's used to being indulged like that. She must be really starved for social interaction, so don't blame her for coming on a little strongly. Social activity! <laughs> Did I miss anything? Not really. Well, we all started sharing our poems with each other. Eh? Already? I'm sorry for being late. But anyway, you want me to read my poem now? Oh, yeah. I like the way this one turned out, so I hope you do too. Save me. The colors, they won't. Bright. Uh, color flesh is uh, red, green, blue, uh, cacophony of meaningless noise. Noise, it won't stop. V uh, green, uh, scre screeching, piercing, sighing, cosine, tangent, like, uh, like playing a knife on a breaking rib cage. <laughs> Delete her. Sorry, I know it's kind of abstract. Like your existence? I'm just trying to, um. Well, never mind. Here's Monica's writing tip of the day! <laughs> Sometimes you'll find yourself facing a difficult decision. When that happens, don't forget to save your game. You never know when, um... Who am I talking to? Can you hear me? Tell me you can hear me. Anything? Uh... That's my advice for today! Have you tried not being a video game character? <laughs> Let me out. No. Oh. <laughs> well, it's not terrible. It was pretty disappointing after your last one. Bitch, I did everything you wanted. I noticed that you were spending some time with Yuri today. Not that I care who you spend your time with. Bullshit. <laughs> after all, I was taught never to expect anything from anybody. Yeesh. So it's not like I was waiting for you or anything. Still, you, sh you should at least look over my poem. You'll probably be able to learn something from it. T3B LBI Mark. Why didn't you come read with me today? I was waiting for you. I was waiting for a long time. It was the only thing I had to look forward to today. Why did you ruin it? Do you like Yuri more? I think you're better off not associating with her. Are you listening to me? Yuri is a sick freak. That should be obvious by now. So just play with me instead. Okay? You don't hate me, Ark, do you? Do you hate me? Do you want to make me go home crying? The club is the only place I feel safe. Play with me. Play with me. Bah. Uh, the fuck? Denis? <laughs> Denis. Hmm. <laughs> that was some uh, crooked man shit right there. <laughs> I hated that game. Well, there's some things you could work on. 
but that doesn't really matter. It feels like anything written by you is a treasure. <laughs> that came out a little awkward. Let's move on. Here's the poem I wrote. Hanyo, with these freaking... Who did you go to? Just Did you go to somebody to subscribe to them just to get these emotes? <clears throat> wheel. A rotating wheel. Turning on axle. Grinding. Bolt head. Her feelings are deep and complex, like an anti-gravity shoe, a shoe on fire, differential <laughs> equation, saffron, aromatics. <laughs> that, that is, a, a pen fell out of your backpack yesterday, so I took it home for safekeeping, and I, um, I just really like the way that it writes. So I wrote this poem with it, and now you're touching it. <laughs> can we pretend this conversation never happened? You can keep the poem, though. <laughs> conversation? What conversation? I was eating a muffin. Oh, we've unlocked a special poem. Yes. A joke. A man walked into a club. In the club, there was a girl who liked him very much. They spent some time together, and then she liked him even more. One day, the girl realized she was in love with him. Before disaster could happen, a third party intervened with her programming. Suddenly, the girl hated herself for being in love. This contradiction caused the script to derail. The universe started to collapse, but she killed herself just in time. So whoa, ha whoa, whoa, wait a minute. So ha-ha funny. Wait, no, <laughs> wait a minute. So this is okay, everyone. Ah. Um. What? You oh. okay down there, Monica? No, that's uh, that's definitely Sayori. We're all done reading each other's poems, right? We have something we need to go over today. So if everyone could come sit at the front of the room, um, I'm calling it. She's killing everyone. Is this about the festival? <laughs> well, sort of. Look. I know everyone's been a little more lively ever since Art joined, and we've started with some club activities. But this isn't the time for us to become complacent or horny. It should be a place so intimate that you never want to leave. I know you feel that way too. I know we all do. So that's why we should work hard and put something together for the festival, even if it's something small. Right, Ark? Look, Monica, you really think any of us here joined the club with other people in mind? Yuri never even talked until Ark joined. As for me, I just like it better here than I do at home. And Ark isn't even passionate about literature in the first place. It's true, I don't give a shit. That's not true at all. I'm sure Yuri and Ark want to get more members too, right? Uh. Eh. I don't know about Yuri, but I'm kind of indifferent. Ark, why did you even join this club? Uh, uh titties. What were you hoping to get out of it? Uh, I read it, read it, I read it right. If I remember, you weren't even given a choice not to join. Monica sits down and stares at her desk. Suddenly, her face slams into it. She's bleeding heavily. What's the point of all this anyway? What if starting this club was a mistake? Natsuki ignores Yuri and walks right out of the classroom. This is bad. I don't know what to do. Well, do you have an opinion on the festival? I... I don't know. I'm kind of indifferent, I guess. But who cares about that obnoxious brat? I'm the vice president. It's not right for me to ignore my responsibilities like that. Nobody would cry if she killed herself. Uh, you're, you've got a bit of creepy pasta in your eye. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, Ark? What do you want to get out of this club? I want to get out of this club. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it's about how many members, but rather the quality of each member. That's what will end up making the literature club a special place. So, today's episode is let's have a talk about controller tape. <laughs> I really agree with you. Each member contributes their own qualities in a special way. I saw that. Let's all go home for today. We'll talk about the festival tomorrow. Okay. I look forward to it. Shall we go, Ark? Uh, um, please don't take this the wrong way, but I'm going to chat a little bit with Ark before we leave, just to see what he thinks of his time here and all that. Please don't murder him while I'm gone. See you tomorrow! All right, give me the give me the skinny, Monica. What, what's what's the what's the spook factor of this situation? What are we doing here? She gives you the skinny. That's all she had. She evaporates. <laughs> Ark, I just wanted to make sure you're enjoying your time at this club. I would really hate to see you unhappy. I feel kind of like I'm responsible for that as president, and I really do care about you. You know, I don't like seeing the other girls give you a hard time, with how mean Natsuki is and everything, and Yuri being a little bit, you know. <laughs> Sometimes it feels like you and I are the only real people here. You know what I mean? But it's weird because in all the time you've been here, we've hardly gotten to spend any time together. Uh, I mean, 
I guess it's technically only been a couple of days. Sorry, I didn't mean to say something weird. There are just some things that I've been hoping to talk about with you. Things I know only you could understand. So that's why- Wait, not yet. No, stop it! She's not the evil. Hmm. The evil is this game. Family, blanket, passion, fun, effulgent, vivacious flower, explode, variance, disoriented, insight. I saw that. Whoa, what? I heard, I've heard that sound before. Anyway, Ark, what do you want to do today? I was thinking we could... We already have plans today. Uh... Is that so, Yuri? That's correct. Ark is already engaged in a novel that we're reading together. Aren't you glad I've gotten him into literature, Monica? I... I suppose... Yuri hands me the water pitcher and also fetches an electric kettle. I'm going to plug this in at the teacher's desk and then I'll go get some water. Okay, may I have the water pitcher? Thanks, I'll be right back. Uh, I might as well walk with you. That's okay. You stay here. Uh, did Yuri leave you again? N no, it's not like that this time. She's just filling up the water pitcher to make tea. Oh, okay. Sorry for misunderstanding. Ten minutes pass. Yuri said it wouldn't take long. Is something holding her up? I'm bored just waiting here, so I decide to go look for her. I'm gonna share with Monica. <laughs> Natsuki, you haven't been weird. You make the decision. No. Take it. It is, your, it. it is your name. No. It is your name on the character. Monica, I don't know why, but she's been really dismissive about this. It's like she just wants us to ignore it. Oh, girl. Thank you, Natsuki. No way. No way. <laughs> 